Well, as it's raining outside, as you'd expect in England, I've come indoors to film this little review thing. So I'm here today with a landing gear that I purchased for my DJI F450. The reason I got this was because I wanted to mount these gubbinses on the bottom for aerial filming. And I didn't really have a way of doing it because the main reason I got this was so I could have the rails, the 12 millimeter rails to mount camera equipment onto. So I looked on Evil Bay and I found a really cheap setup. So this cost me £12. Uh, the links will be in the description if you wish to buy it. I am just thinking get it on sites like Banggood as well. And yeah, this is a little review on this product. Basically this landing gear is supposed to be able to fit any sort of frame rate. It's quite universal, but it's mainly made for the DJI F450 and F550 frame wheel frames. However, I'm pretty certain you could put this on most things. It uses 12mm rails at the top, yeah, and it uses 8mm rails at the bottom as stabilisation so that it doesn't fall over. That is the landing gear part. So the dimensions of this are 33cm in length, 22cm in width, and 20 centimeters in height. It is quite a heavy setup, near enough, around sort of 200 grams with no camera equipment on it. That's quite a lot to add to a multi-rotor. Um, so for example, for me, this is kind of an issue as I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to add a four cell setup or find other ways of shaving weight so I can get some more power out of it because it's quite sluggish with this landing gear on as it does weigh a lot. So my thoughts and opinions on this landing gear are that it's very good value for money, costing only £12 and doing the job fine. I think the build materials, however, aren't too fantastic. This is made out of some sort of plastic composite, maybe HDPE or something, which is fine, it does the work well. However, when I assembled the frame, it's quite brittle and one of the lugs that holds it in snapped. Um, I glued it back together. However, it means there's a slight camber on the whole frame that sort of splayed out a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure as to why that's happened and it's not ideal, but hey ho. Um, it uses some sort of carbon fiber boards to mount to the quadcopter and it also comes with a battery mount as well as a camera gimbal mount. And I'm presuming the camera gimbal mount will fit things such as a Zenies gimbal or something because it doesn't, it's not compatible with my Futec gimbal which wasn't an issue anyway because I've made this vibration isolator. Just put it over there. So the video is there if you want to see that. Um, so it wasn't an issue. However, I am thinking about redesigning a lot of this. It works perfectly. The main reason I did get this after all, like I said, was for the rails so I could mount my camera to it. So the rails work fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're brilliant. However, the rest of it is quite heavy and quite weighty as it uses aluminium lugs and vibration dampening things, grommets, when eventually when you put all these different materials the weight does start to add up a bit, which for this quadcopter is a slight issue. So I'm going to hopefully keep the rails as they work great and instead just take off this bottom part and lighten up the whole thing a bit because it's quite heavy at the moment. As you can see I've had to counterbalance the amount of weight off the front and offset it with the battery at the back. Um, it will have more batteries added soon as it's running very small batteries But I can't really put a bigger one on at the moment because of the weight of the landing gear So that means the flight times are appalling. I'm now going to show you how I've mounted it to the quadcopter And I did this simply just using zip ties as There wasn't really much point in using any bolts because I've put in little rubber Shields things little rubber sections that will hopefully remove slightly more vibrations because although it does have rubber grommets to try and remove vibrations, they're quite hard and I shouldn't imagine they actually do that much to remove any vibrations at all. Would I recommend buying this? Yes. If you aren't looking for a retractable gimbal and you're just looking for something cheap that does the job well, then it's a brilliant gimbal to go for. It looks fairly professional with the red and black colour scheme with the red highlights as well as the aluminium and the rubber grommets to reduce vibrations. It has quite a professional touch to it. As you can see, I've used them on the front here to mount to my isolator. It's quite impressive that they can actually afford to manufacture these sort of things, and it still only cost 12 pounds. In conclusion, buy it, I guess. So I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I'm sorry it couldn't have been about something more interesting because 
Britain's raining. Britain's always raining. Can't fly outside in this weather. Anyway, ciao.